Down syndrome is only one of the thousands of genetic diseases that have affected babies since ancient times. Its importance lies in its high prevalence, especially in older mothers. For about 30 years, the medical community has developed screening tests for this syndrome, the most significant problem affecting intellectual ability of newborns. The purpose of screening tests is to determine the likelihood that a mother is carrying a baby with Down syndrome. As the name suggests, these tests are not used for diagnosis but for identifying at-risk babies. If the test results indicate a high risk, the family is given the opportunity to undergo more advanced tests. Tests developed for this purpose include the first trimester and the second trimester tests, and, perhaps for a small group, the maternal blood fetal DNA test. Early screening is important, so these tests are typically performed during the 11th to 14th weeks of pregnancy. The first trimester test is performed during this period and combines ultrasound measurements with other tests. The second trimester tests are typically performed during the 16th to 18th weeks of pregnancy. The quad test is being more commonly used nowadays due to its higher screening power. The fetal DNA test may be recommended as a second-line test for a very small group. These tests are relatively new and are not widely used worldwide. Regardless of which test is used, if there is a risk, further diagnostic tests such as chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis are recommended to establish a definitive diagnosis.